Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 24, 2020. Uh, if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So the link is down below and you're very welcome. So tomorrow is going to be a half day because it's Christmas and uh, therefore the market will uh, close early. So they're probably going to be on... Well, a lot of volatility when the market is basically open. So uh, be prepared for that. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied a little bit today. We're up 0.43% at this point. We have pulled back a little bit. But at this stage, we are basically, well, we're basically building momentum in order to go to 3,800. If we pull back from here, then 3,600 is basically the floor or this 20 exponential moving average is uh, fairly uh, where we have found support uh, several times. We did break below that uh, three trading sessions ago. We went all the way down to 3,638, but 3,600 should be the absolute floor in this market. I don't think we're going to see that. I think that we are going to go and test 3,800 within probably tomorrow or the next few trading days. Uh, 4,000 is long-term target for this market. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is fairly bearish. R RSI is flat. The CCI is flat. Stochastic is turning around. And that is a good indication that we are most likely going to go higher. And we are just above the 20 moving average here in the Bollinger Band. And there's a little bit room to the upside. If you look at the RSI, it's at 58. And that is a very good sign because there is a lot of room to the upside. We're not close to being overbought. So a rally from here, that can basically happen at any point. There's a massive amount of support underneath, so I do not expect this to break down anytime soon. Let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones has rallied again today. We are trading at 30,225. If you look at technical indicators for the Dow Jones, they are fairly flat. We have been trading within this really tight range for a very long time. And usually when it basically this occurs and nothing, it definitely doesn't break down, we see a massive rally to the upside. So 30,500 is the next target until we go towards 31,000. These technical indicators are, well, they are mixed, but they are basically turning around, if you can say. Stochastic is turning around, CCI is turning around, so is the RSI. MACD is still a bearish at this point, uh, but expect a rally to the upside. We have been trading sideways for a really long time. Not a lot of movement, but the, I basically bet on the upside, not the downside in this case. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is a little bit more um, bearish than the other the two indices. So we are at 62 at this point. So there is room to the upside. However, these technical indicators are turning around. So I would not be surprised if we fell towards the 20 exponential. So a roughly 12,500, uh, that, um, that is probable, but that is also a buying opportunity. The 20 exponential has been significant support for a very long time. And if we break down below that, then 12,000 is absolutely the, uh, the, um, the bottom of this market. So roughly above the 50 moving average or at the 50 moving average here, that is where the, a lot of buyers will come in. But that means we will have a, a fall of roughly 4.8%. 4 and that will not happen in tomorrow's session. I would be very surprised if that happened. It can happen, but but uh, I believe that the 20 exponential is basically the bottom at this in the in the short run at least. But the target here is 13,000. That is where this market is going. And if we have a pullback tomorrow, then the, I will basically be betting that we're heading towards 13,000 after that. If you look at technical indicators, they are 
flat or looking fairly bearish at this point. MACD is flat, the CC, uh, RSI is flat, the CCI is bullish yet, but is turning around. The stochastic is turning around, turning bearish, and we are basically in the nowhere in the in the bullish band. We can go up, we can go down. I would favor the downside. A pullback is what I'm looking for in order to enter and to buy it to 30,000, 13,000, sorry. So let's look at these tech stocks. And as you can see, there is a, well, mixed uh, going around here. Um, Tesla has been uh, doing quite well today. It found support at the 20 exponential. The same goes for Google. It found support yesterday. And so also Netflix. The other ones have been overstretched and you can see that they are falling today. So let's look at Apple first. So Apple has had a massive rally. So you have this massive yesterday when they pronounced that they were going to make cars. And of course, that sounds really cool. However, Apple is not really known for making cars. That's a big shift in their, in their uh, how you can say, production, uh, because it's known for making tablets, computers, and, and iPhones. And of course, an iCar sounds really cool, but that is uh, to be seen. They have to first of all make it work and make a profit out of it. But of course, news like that is very positive for the stock, but it's not something that's going to last forever. So therefore, we're having this pullback even yesterday and continuing today. And at this point, I think that we're going to go lower. We're going to head towards the 20 exponential, roughly 125 before we continue higher. And of course, that will also affect the NASDAQ because this is a big part of NASDAQ. It's a massive company. So we are on the edge of being overbought. These technical indicators are still looking bullish. Some of them, MACD, for example, and the Stochastic and CCI as well, but the RSI is flat. Warning sign here, we broke well above the, the top of the Bullinger Band and today we have a red, candle, a red candlestick here. And usually that means that we'll fall back towards this moving average, which is roughly at $125 a share. So if we do that, I will definitely be in for a buy. No interest in basically shorting this. So look at Amazon. There is nothing happening today. You can see that uh, we're just above the 50 moving average. We are down nearly uh, half a percent. And at this point, I think that we're going lower. So... Amazon stock has done the same for a very long time now. Broke above the 50 moving average, underneath, above, and now we're probably going back underneath the 50 moving average, heading towards the 150, where we'll find major uh, support and a lot of buying. So I think that is going to be what is going to trigger this uh, stock to go much higher, is when we get close to the 150 moving average. But we're far away from there, and we're actually roughly 3.4% from there. So we'll see. Technical indicators for Amazon stock are looking more and more dreadful. Stochastic is turning around, becoming bearish. CCI is bearish. The RSI is flat. And uh, MACD is basically turning around as well. So break below this um, uh, 20 moving average here in the Bollinger Band, that opens the door to the very lows of the Bollinger Band, roughly. 3,106, just above the 150 moving average. So let's look at Microsoft. So we had a massive rally yesterday and the day before, and today we are heading back towards the 20 exponential moving average. We were significantly overbought. We have turned around here. We are at 61, at 65 at this point. Technical indicators other than that, for example, the stochastic is turning around, the CCI is turning around, and the RSI and the MACD usually follows after that. So we were well above the upper levels of the Bollinger Band yesterday, and therefore we're pulling back because we are way overstretched. So we're heading most likely back towards the 50 moving out, no, the 20 moving average here in the Bollinger Band, which is roughly at $216 a share. And there we can basically enter this market again for a buy. So let's look at uh, Facebook. So Facebook rallied significantly today, found massive resistance here at the 100 moving average, but I think it's just a matter of time before we go significantly higher. This is a market that found massive support yesterday, rallied today, 
these technical indicators just need to turn around. You can see that the RSI has turned around. We are on the edge of being oversold. We were significantly oversold yesterday. And uh, I'm looking for definitely a rise in this market of roughly 8.43%. So these previous highs here, whether or not we go higher than that, that is the question. It is possible to go to these previous highs, that is 10.5%, or these highs, which is the all-time high, which is 13%. But I don't think that we're going to go lower than this. Definitely not underneath the 150 moving average. So at this point, you can look at the Bollinger Band as well. We crossed underneath the lower part of the Bollinger Band yesterday, rallied the day, and usually this is a sign that we're going to head at least towards the 20 moving average, which is at $277 a share. So let's look at Tesla. So Tesla has rallied today roughly 0.7% at this point. So the, 200, the 20 exponential has been in support for quite a long time now, all the way back to uh, November uh, 17. And uh, yes, this is a market basically I bought into right here because I think that we are going to target these previous highs. So 600 or 700, that is basically the target. Uh, 700 is the target at this point. So that is an increase of roughly 6.7% in the next few trading days. After that, we're heading towards 800. This, of course, is a um, company that is way, or stock that is way or valued, but it doesn't look like people care. They just buy this Every single time it, it gets close to the 20 exponential or drops even further to the 50, people just buy as much of this as humanly possible. Technical indicators for Tesla stock are looking fairly dreadful at this point, but we are way uh, below being overbought. We're at 58 uh, at this point, and uh, that is fairly rare for Tesla stock. It usually is at above 70 and it's significantly overbought. But we are not at this point. That could be an indication that these technical indicators will turn around and we'll go targeting uh, $700 a share. So let's look at Google. And uh, yesterday we found uh, support here at the 150 moving average, which was expected. And today we are, have been rallying almost uh, at to the 20 exponential here at 1757. But I think it's just a matter of time before this goes absolutely bananas to the upside. We are significantly oversold still. So technical indicators are turning around, for example, the stochastic, the CCI, and also the RSI. And at this point, the, the minimum this market will go within the next few trading days is 1770, um, 1757. And if that breaks, then we're heading all the way to these very highs. So that is a roughly a trade of around 6.3%. So no interest in basically selling this uh, because the 50 moving average is basically the bottom of the market. If it falls further towards the 50, I'll definitely buy even more. So let's look at Netflix. So Netflix is looking really, really interesting now. We fell 2.36% today. We're just above the 20 exponential, but this is looking Interesting. I think that we're going to cross the 20 exponential. I think that we're going all the way down towards uh, 481. That's basically the very lows of the of the Bollinger Band. That is very likely that we'll go down there to that level or towards the 50 moving average, which is roughly at $500 a share. These things, the indicators are looking dreadful. So there's a lot of room to the downside. So a crossing of the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 50, and crossing the 50 opens the door to the 150, which is at $490 a share. And the lower this basically gets, the more I will buy. The 150 has been a massive uh, support in the past, and I will buy as much as I can when we basically get down to this price level. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and Merry Christmas.